Come on now, you know Come on now. Come on. Woo! Good day. Y'all, y'all probably trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, buddy. Um, <laughs> what we've been doing for the last month as um, as your leaders of the church here, we've uh, we got together and we decided to, if we want to see this vision, this dream go forth with this building, with this, with what's getting ready to happen here, we decided to do a a, a one month long fast. You know. Uh, fast of anything that that you do for me it was Facebook anything that you do regular every day you know it don't have to be food it don't have to be something that you do every day that you laid down that and you said I'm gonna take that time and I'm gonna give it to God and if you read all throughout the whole Bible when, when people when groups masses people fasted for however many times you just did for 40 days when people fasted and, and give their self to God things begin to happen. Things to begin to get broke. Breakthroughs get, breakthroughs started to happen. So we as a group decided to do this on behalf of the, behalf of you guys. You guys have been raised up with prayer. We've been raised up with prayer. There's things that has happened in our lives that, you know, we may tell you here and there that has absolutely been phenomenal. Okay, beyond what we could ever think but we did it one reason is to raise this money for the building fund you guys know this because we're, we're trying to get in this new building and we've been fought and fought by the by the city and, and stuff by the permits and stuff like that and um, but the funny thing is in that building I'm gonna stop right there and the funny thing is in that building when everything was cleaned out of it there was one item left in, the, in, in that building and it was a black tie Ah. Okay. Now I'm going to explain you this. She had a dream. You, you may have to explain to it, but um, she had a dream several, several months ago that there was a long tie. Am I correct? Long tie, and it was at the time she didn't understand what it was. She didn't know uh, know what it was, and at the time we didn't know that tie had been still in there in that building. Okay, this has all been, been, we didn't know. So we took the tie, just a dream. And uh, so what we're going to do today, we found, long story short, okay, I ain't going to try to get in and mess myself up. Because I don't, I, I don't know everything, I don't know, you know, the de details. But what we're going to do as a symbolic thing today, this ain't, this ain't nothing crazy. People do way more crazier stuff than what we're getting ready to do. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Okay, well, what we're going to do today, your, your pastor, your pastor, Pastor Roger and Anna, Pastor Roger is going to put this tie on. And what we're going to do, we have fasted for this. We have met our goal for this building fund. We're way past it. Praise God. Woo! God's heart is with the blood. I mean, he's looking for 10,000, he's going to live. Okay, if you ask for 50, he may give 60. But the thing is, he wants to see if you're going to do the work to get it. Okay, it ain't easy. You know, you know I can say, God, I need a $100,000. He can't not give it to you. I mean, it, it's not impossible. He can walk right there. It is on, on the ground. But he wants to see, are you actually going to work for it? Okay? It's not easy. But it, it's like everyday life. It ain't easy. But if we press, we know what we're trying to get to. Okay? He's going to put this tie on. And what we're going to do is, as a church as one body to see this city turn around, to see the religious spirits, religious stuff off this city grow Amen. because this city needs it. Amen. And this city needs to see something real. Amen. They need to see something real, a place that they can come, get to, and see Jesus. Not us. Okay? See Jesus. And have a true transformation of who they need to be in Christ. The purpose to find that and what, that's what we're trying to do. So when he puts his tie on, we're going to cut this tie because that's going to represent that we're cutting it off. We're taking the land back. We're taking it back. Amen. Okay? And when we do that, it's, I'm going to need y'all to give it everything you got. Scream, shout, it don't matter because we're going to let, we're going to let him know that we're going to be in business today. Okay, where, where is that? I don't care. 
Okay, there was with a mouse with a microphone today because we got we got numbers. Okay, so we won't put this down. on. We're Matthew eighteen eighteen says, "Truly I say to you, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven." How many of you believe in the prophetic? Amen. You believe that the prophetic Amen. is real and for today? Yes. yes. I do too. This is symbolic. He's This is symbolic. You know, in the in the Old Testament, they had to sacrifice, and when that animal's blood was shed, God looked down and He took notice. Sometimes we as people, this is more for us than it is for Him, because it's already been done. Hallelujah. This is for us. So that we can look back on this day and remember so that we don't forget what God has done for us. Okay? So Roger and Anna are going to stand up here together. And I feel the Holy Spirit so strong. They are a unity. They are a unit. They are done this together. He is wearing the tie, yes. But they are both the pastors. So together, we're going to take this tie. And that devil that has formed himself a hierarchy in this city has just been notified Amen. and has just gotten his what do you call it? Certificate. Yes, he has just been served. And we're going to cut his ties. On the, that religious spirit is going to start coming down today. At least in this church, this body, this is who we speak for. And as Pastor Roger said before, other churches will follow in suit. We are saying that in faith. Because we have to be as those in Jericho that went forth and sang and shouted before the walls came down. There had to be leaders. God said, call your leaders. Call your singers. Call the leaders. And we have stepped forth as leaders. And Father God, we thank you for that opportunity, Lord. We thank you that you have sought us, Lord, and sought us worthy of this. Lord Jesus, and as we cut this tie... We release on earth, the Lord, and we are having faith that you are releasing in the heavenlies. And this religious spirit in Pittsburgh, Kansas, this religious spirit has come against the Browns and your ministry, Jesus. Father, we cut it right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lee, will you come and hold this tie out? So the only thing I cut is the tie. Hallelujah. Father, hallelujah. We're going to cut it twice. We're going to cut it twice. Hallelujah. This piece first. <laughs> Hallelujah. This first piece represents the hierarchy of the city. We come against that spirit of religion and we cut it right now in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands. Satan and everything that he has set up against Roger and his family. Yes. We come against every familiar spirit, every hindering yes. spirit on anybody yes. that is associated with Life, life Changers yes. Church. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.